So let's just say that almost the complete offline world will digitize, right? But, you know, it's not really about technology. It's about what this has done to human behavior. We have all literally grown to our smartphones these days. And this new customer is self-centered. He has put himself in the center of the universe. And basically, um, the story of the flower and the bees has flipped. In the old days, companies were the flowers and the customers were the bees, and you had to attract as many customers as possible. But this has changed around. The customer is now the flower, and the organizations are the bees, and the flower determines when you can get in. Not too soon, not too late, not too often, and with the right message. And this is a Copernical revolution, and companies that fail to see this will have a hard time making it until the day after tomorrow. So with every customer experience, this is my advice. Check whether it's fast, easy, fun, and simple. And that's something that you can start doing tomorrow. With everything you do, with every innovation that you are creating, think of these. Are you paying attention to fast, fun, easy, and simple? And then while you are doing this, while you are creating these customer experiences, make sure that you track all of the data. And I'm telling you, it is not about B2B, it is not about B2C, it's about human to human. And this human being only wants three things of you. He wants you to know him, he wants you to have one conversation, so no different stories by different departments, and he does not want a one-size-fits-all approach. Okay? You need to make it relevant. And then the CEO of Bold.com, he uh, provided us with a really good quote. They were busy with creating moonshots here and moonshots there, and then he says, you know, our customer is already on Mars. So if you are building a rocket to take you to the moon in 2020, there's two things you know for certain. You're too late and you're going to miss the target. The customer is already on Mars.